Sometimes you need symbols in your project, such as NOS arrow, fire symbols, exit symbols, warning symbols. These symbols are created as generic annotation family in Revit and are added into the project as symbols. Today, in this episode, we are going to explore how to create a NOS arrow using the generic annotation family and add it into the project as symbol. So let's dive in. To customize the NOS arrow, we'll need to start by creating a new family and use the generic annotation family template. Now, because this is a generic annotation template, the note here says that you can change the family category to set appropriate annotation type from here. You can change this family template into a, a different tag. But because in this case, we are creating a north arrow, which is the generic annotation, we really don't need to do this step. The insertion point is going to be at the intersection of reference plane, and we are going to delete this node before using. Now, remember, this is an annotation family, which means all the sizes that you are going to use are going to be the paper sizes. So when I'm going to create a line here, and let's say I make it about 10 millimeters in its length, this 10 millimeters is going to be printed on paper and going to be 10 millimeters. So regardless of the scale that you print your drawing on paper, take a scale and measure it, it's going to be 10 millimeters. So let's create our geometry further. I'm going to make a 12 millimeters a diagonal line and make it a triangle like this. I'm going to mirror this up and fill this part as black using the filled region. I'm going to pick lines and choose these same lines available here. The fill region that I'm going to use is the default one, which is a solid fill black. If you don't have this fill region available, you can duplicate an existing one and create the pattern that you like. I'm going to finish this. Here we go. And now let's add a text called N here. Now remember, in this case, we're not using a label, but we're using a text because label is a parameter that reports a value. And because label is a parameter that reports a value, and here we want our norse to be always consistently n, which is why I'm using text, which does not change. I'm going to go to the type properties and duplicate, make it a little bit smaller text, make it 2.5 millimeters and the background transparent. I'm going to say okay to this, and I'm going to reposition it somewhere around here. Let's save this north arrow call it custom north arrow. I'm going to save it. Let's load it into the project. And here I'm going under the sheets. I have a sheet available here. And let's go under the annotation. Under the symbol, you will find your custom north arrow. So whenever you load a generic annotation family, it is going to go under annotation tab under the symbols tool. So let's go under the symbol and place our north arrow right over here. Now, this north arrow that we created is not a parametric family. So this means that if you want to give it an angle to your north arrow, you will have to select it, go to the rotation tool and give it a rotation to the degree that you would like to rotate your north. Now, another way to do this is to make the north arrow parametric with an angle parameter. Now, that's the topic for our next episode. We're going to explore how to create the same north arrow, but with an angle parameter. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.